I make comment 243 a lot, possibly because I think that students have somehow got the impression over the years that keeping things simple is just a matter of uh, being considerate to the examiner or to get marks for its own sake. Um, it's not. Uh, spotting opportunities to simplify, which is what comment 243 encourages you to do, helps you have uh, clever, th clever thoughts. Um, so, uh, for example, um, try and spot opportunities to simplify fractions. So, unless it was the absolute final part of a question, I would never leave that alone. Um, not even if it was, in fact. Um, try and spot common factors and try and spot a common factor in the pro numerals as well. Um, look out for opportunities to simplify in the collection of like terms. So because multiplication is commutative, those two circled expressions are equal, which means you don't need to leave it like that. You can write it as this or this. Either will do. Um, I'm always encouraging students when they finish vector answers to factorize it even if it doesn't encourage you to um, because it helps you have clever thoughts later on in the question. Um, these are all um, things that um, are simpler than what you started with. So that's the comment. Look out for opportunities to simplify. Um, this also happens in thirds. I would never leave that in a final answer. I would take the opportunity to reduce the numbers a little. Um, and because negative powers are strange, I always take the opportunity to express them in regular language if I can. So if I had x to the power of negative 2 in an answer, I would just of my own accord change it to 1 over x squared because 1 over x squared is familiar to me it's been familiar with to me ever since year 7 whereas this is a strange concept which might be more likely to make mistakes so if you get comment 243 a lot then it's basically saying that you can uh, improve your maths by having clever thoughts that come from keeping your work uh, simple